everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so today we're going to be talking about my first impressions of reiner where you can use her and uh more or less how we're going to play her kit okay so as you can see <laughs> announcement so zeon instead of an orange fate core he uh, she is going to be a red fate core so Let's proceed to Reiner. So Reiner is actually going to be um, probability, probability chance up of 0.5% and 28 core mileages for you to obtain her guaranteed. Okay, so Reiner, a weird name for a woman. Very weird name, but definitely the design is very, very good. Again, I like the theme of this nation, but again, we don't we don't need new nations at this point. But again, I hope moving forward, this is the last nation that they're going to put out so that they can add other heroes to the newer nations that have come out. Okay, so let's take a look at her kit, guys. So her passive is going to be Focus Fire 3, a flex target with Focus Fire Mark, and decreases dodge block for one round on basic attack uh which is tied to her other passives as well so kinda no take note of this one so gains one mana when mark target dies and gains one mana if health of target is at 70 percent or more so decreases block and dodge for one round so you can basically kill off a target with less block and less dodge Fiesta, her first passive is Mark's Fiesta Flex Fiesta to an enemy with lower attack than self. If an enemy with Fiesta Mark is hit with a basic attack, so after you decrease dodge and block, then you deal piercing damage equal to 100% of own attack, which is actually crazy. So let's let's tie everything up, okay? So curtain off counters when an enemy attacks another ally besides self okay so what do you do when you counter of course you you attack with your basic attack so again decrease dodge block then piercing damage to 100 percent of own attack so again this stack so three effects stacks already and um if there are two or other more living allies at the start of the round or a front row allies at the start of the round grant stealth sell for one round which actually gives her more survivability rota for tune is every time own basic attack hits an enemy increases own attack by 20 percent and can be stacked up to five times so let me just tell the story one more time attack decreases dodge and block okay the next is um sorry basic attack Decreases dodge or block. Then you have uh, dealing piercing damage. If um, the attack of Rhinor is higher than your enemy. So that's two. Next would be counters as well. You can use this in your counters. And the third would be every every time own basic attack hits an enemy. Increases own attack by 20%. Okay. Considering that some of these qualifiers are high. Especially if um, the attack stat is... Uh, low for reiner her kit is actually perfect for the dragon i tell you with the counters and the attacking of an ally besides herself this is going to be insane um the, the increased attack of 20 percent can stack up to 100 percent and again this is going to be fantastic guys um, I'm not sure if she's going to have higher attack than the dragon. I'm not sure, but um, uh, unlikely, probably. Probably, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I'm not aware of the attack stat of the dragon. So again, uh, counter will come into play. Increase of attack percentage will come into play for the dragon. So, and if any of 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 the what they call it, the heroes that you bring for the dragon will be attacked, she attacks. So there's no. A, there's no, uh, no, there's not a hard qualifier, um, like unlike uh, Brook, um, that you should combo her with a specific hero. For her, she just has to be placed in that team. So again, I see her use mainly in PvP, 
a PVE, particularly in the dragon. Um, for PvP, it might take a long time to build her in her nation. So again, if you want to pull for her, consider using her in the dragon. By the way, I actually pulled for her last night. I was itching for a pull on her banner and I got her in the first pull. I'll try to make a guide on her using her with a dragon. Probably down the future, I still need to level her up. And her last passive is Two-Face. When Mark, when, it, when, when in stealth, reduces own damage received by 50% and increases on critical damage by 30%. So this is going to be this the critical damage is also going to play again with your counters additional attack I'm not sure how big of a damage she can put out, but we will try that in the future video with the dragon Okay, s1 is going to be um, Deals to 55% damage to all enemies. So record minus four, which is kind of average or below even but her s1 is actually perfect with deals three 735% damage to an enemy. This is going to be piercing damage. So dom domination judgment required mana is going to be five. So this can be used because most of the time she's going to use her basic attack. Then she'll have enough mana to pull this off. <clears throat> so my thoughts with her, she's going to be a PVE specialist. That is what I see with her now. I'm not sure in terms of PvP in the future if she can get the level of the current generals that we have. <laughs> but for now, she's going to really shine with Holy Dragon Ground. So for new players who are still building their teams, <coughs> sorry, you may consider her in your team. Okay, so again, perfect for the dragon and other um like for example chapters you may also use her there and i think she would do good in pv okay guys so thank you very much for staying and also uh, reaching this part of the video also please consider subscribing and also don't forget to click the bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe this is the warden and i am out of here